so we have been through a lot of desk setups over the years, and we know many of you have done the same. We tried single panels, dual panels, even a TV for a short phase that we do not like to admit, and now we settled on an ultra-wide for a long stretch. So today we want to break down ultra-wide versus dual monitors in a very real way. And we want to share what feels productive, what gets in the way, and who might prefer each setup. We can start with what you see first because that sets the tone of the whole setup. A 21 to 9 ultra wide, especially a big curved like the 45 inch LG Ultra Gear, fills your field in one smooth shape. And that single arc creates a sense of focus because your eyes settle on one large canvas. Dual monitors, usually two 27 inch 16 by 9 panels, create a different vibe. You get more structure on the desk and each panel forms its own zone. Some of you like that because you can angle them and create a cockpit feel. And that small bezel gap becomes a soft divider, which helps when you want two areas that never overlap. The ratio difference shapes your day more than you expect. A 21 to 9 panel stretches wide, which feels great when you place two apps side by side. You still get decent vertical height if you go for a higher resolution panel. And that horizontal reach helps with editing timelines, extra columns in spreadsheets and wide charts that often feel cramped on 16 to 9. Dual monitors give you two independent 16 by 9 sections. So instead of one continuous wide strip, you get two clean rectangles. And this matters when you want one full screen app on the left and a totally different full screen app on the right. That sense of separation feels more natural on dual setups. Now we can talk about usage because this is where the difference becomes obvious. With an ultra wide, the strength shows up when you work across related tasks. For example, script on one side, research on the other or timeline across the whole width, colour tools tucked to the side. And because the curve keeps the edges at a similar distance, your eyes move smoothly from one part to another. With dual monitors, the workflow leans into variety. You can pick one panel with perfect colour accuracy, then pair it with a cheaper high refresh display. This flexibility saves money because you only upgrade the part that matters to your main work. And when you want to switch into gaming, the game goes full screen on one panel, while the other holds music, chat, or performance metrics. Comfort becomes a bigger deal once you spend long hours at the desk. With a large ultra-wide, your eyes travel across a long horizontal path. The curve helps, but the reach is still wide. And if the monitor is too close, your neck shifts more than you expect. Dual monitors break that travel into two smaller fields. You look left, then right, instead of sweeping across one huge space and you set each angle the way you want, which puts less strain on your neck. Movies are usually 21 to 9, so when you watch them on an ultra-wide, the frame fits perfectly. And this looks even better on OLED because of the deep blacks. Some YouTube videos uploaded in wider formats also fill the space without bars. Games behave differently. Many modern titles support wide ratios, and you get a broader view which feels more immersive. But some older games do not support ultra-wide at all. And when that happens, you deal with black bars or windowed mode. Dual monitors avoid this issue because you place the game on one panel at its native 16 to 9 ratio, and the second panel stays free for everything else. These setups also touch the desk in different ways. Ultra-wides take more depth and need heavier stands or arms. And good arms cost more because of the weight. We learned this when our first arm kept tilting downward, which forced us to upgrade to a stronger mount. Dual monitors sit lighter and give more flexibility with cheap arms. And when you want to push both panels to the edge of the desk, the setup feels more spacious. So if we try to map all this into simple guidance, we would say an ultra wide fits people who want a single focused workspace. If you do editing, coding, color work, or general creative tasks, the 21 by nine layout gives you a big open environment. And something like a 45 inch adds deep contrast, which helps when you create visual content. Dual monitors fit people who like variety, mixed tasks, or separate zones. If you want a color accurate display next to a gaming panel, or if you jump between different apps all day, the separation helps. And you save money because you upgrade each panel based on its job, not for a single combined purpose. So after trying both setups for long stretches, we feel each one serves a different type of workflow. An ultra-wide gives you a unified and immersive space. A dual setup gives you flexibility and separation. 
And none of this is about which one is better overall. It is more about what fits your habits, your desk and the way you move through your day. So we hope this helps you pick the setup that makes your desk feel more natural. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more videos.